that will frustrate uh, Dermot, having got out of that tight situation. Don't give the ball away from the set piece, but they've worked hard to get it back here. Lalkovic trying to play it through for Lukaku. Shot was initially blocked, it's still alive, and side-footed wide. Well, that's the best opening of the first six minutes. Lukaku's holding his face for the initial effort. Just trying to squeeze that ball through. I think he could have passed that a bit quicker there, Cabby. Got himself in great space in the centre circle. Just needs to advance a couple of yards and then play the ball and make his run himself. This time dwells a little bit too long and gets the block. Osiukup into Reese Murphy. Second bite of the area and misses the target. And just enjoy several, just a little bit off the play there. Demo Drummer, yeah, always very vocal during these games. Very interesting, though, isn't it? You know, hear him say drop off, drop off. That's because the two centre backs were very, very square. And Gat, uh, left back, yeah, getting it on his right side and trying to test compared to Drogba, isn't he? Well, he's always going to be he's the same sort of physicality as him. And, and uh, you know, when you score goals like the Kaku's done in his, uh, his previous club, then you can understand why that, uh, the resemblance is there. But. It's a long, long way to go to, to rise to the level that Didier Drogba has risen to, of course. Eastman, Osiukou, they've played it well here. This is Junaid Mead, wide. That was a good spell for the Gunners. Chelsea defending quite deep there. If the other players can see it, they should be at Dermot. Definitely see it. Yeah, that's what uh, should be happening. Ben Gordon, up to Cabby. The thick of things, tussling with Yanaris again. And to, be, on. and to be better, Cabby, he's been in the thick of the action. Meles three for Lukaku, flags up. Yeah, unlucky. Unlucky, again, good play. The reason it's good play is because it was a first-time ball to Lukaku. That was, the it was quite hard to come by the reserves this season. If you look at this starting 11, only Osjukup has actually scored in the league this season. They could change that here. Oh, good save to deny Murphy. Brilliant, Reese Taylor. Absolutely brilliant because two centre backs there, both going for the same same ball. Left it for each other. You know, we often say two players are going for the same ball, centre back position, and then trying to work the ball forward through Milan. Well, that was very risky to put it mildly. Straight to Murphy, and Reese Taylor has to make the save, but you just can't do that. Well, I think it was Ryan it's again on this occasion, just giving the you say that two out of two he's done. You know, they want to see something fitting towards that middle or far post area. Oh, Chaloba seeing nothing on, deciding to have a crack himself. Well, he obviously doesn't get many opportunities, does he? We see Nathaniel playing. The pressure still on Arsenal. Third Chelsea corner. Piazon again. Deep one this time. Cleared as far as Mellis. The keeper opts to punch. Cabby. Oh, it could break kindly here. There's the back heel, and it's in. Chelsea have scored. Nathaniel Chaloba with a very cheeky back heel for his second reserve goal of the season, and the captain strikes for Chelsea. Well, isn't that brilliant? Great to see him put the ball in the back of that. Such a way to score a goal. But you know, as we talk in general play, we talked about the delivery being the, such an important part. You know, they've created the opportunity by creating the space for Milan Lalkovic right-hand side. We ended up with two corners because of a good delivery. Two corners for Arsenal under pressure, and we've managed to squeeze the ball in at the near post, and, and rightly so. You know, that's good play by Chelsea. Great intervention as well by Nathaniel Chiloba. Good to see him on the score sheet. Have we found his position? Arsenal trying to cause us problems, but for me, it's all about our first touch. It hasn't quite worked for us as yet. Get him into the line, get him into the line. Eastman. You can hear Dermot Jommy just trying to make things happen. Here's Reese Murphy trying to get his shot away. Drilled it wide. Another big chance for him. It's a sign, isn't it? It's a sign of this opening few minutes of the game that Chelsea are tough. Nice to see him in action in the youth side, but uh, obviously he's going to step up to this level. It's a different ball game. Cello back. Oh, brilliantly done, wasn't it? Quite magnificent. And here comes Chelsea. A chance for Lukaku. It's two. Well, can you believe it? Arsenal have started this second half so brightly that Chelsea go up the other end and Lukaku has scored again. That's a nice, simple finish, wasn't it? But some great running by Milan Lalkovic to get in behind. But again, initially from Nathaniel Chiloba in that midfield area. It's a lovely little pass across the face of the goal. Simple in the end. For Lukaku, 
Lalkovic, I thought, was going to shoot. He does like to shoot from those angles normally, but he's made the right decision, squared it across for Lukaku, and it's a simple tap-in. But some good, interesting play by Chelsea, especially in that midfield area. Nathaniel Chiloba's done well initially, a little slide rule pass. Eastman with the ball forward, but uh, Rowanitz has seized on that. Once again, down the right-hand side, here's the threat for Ruz. Just a little bit too much to do there in the end. It's been a bit more of an open game, aren't we, now? And I think Chelsea just got to be careful. We're looking for a flag here against Murphy. And off the post was the flag up. Oh, I don't think it was, was. No. I think Todd Kane has left him in an onside position. You know, the two centre-backs have pushed up and Todd's just sat back. It all happened a little bit too quickly. Just got to be careful that we don't give them the opportunity to get back in the game. I think we're a little bit fortunate that's come off the post. Good idea to maybe play it first time, but uh, thankfully it didn't go in. Farouz through to Lukaku against Boateng. And the block does come in, but uh, he's looking a real threat every time with the ball at his feet. At the other end, Rhys Murphy so close to halving the deficit here. Yeah, there we see the offside decision. Todd Kane much too deep. Turner does his best to get across to it, but always going to strike the post, I guess. Good well, to see us come back. It. Good to see us come back at the other end, though, Gary. You know, it's uh, lovely little ball in for Lukaku. Fourth corner. Dover Savile comes out to Cabijalo. Back on his right side. It's sat up for him. I don't mind this. I really don't mind Cabi having a go at this one. I think his first touch. He tried to sort of. And get. by Eastman's needs. Well, that was snuffed out brilliantly. And here, here's Lalkovic. His pace can be such a threat, and he'll get there before Eastman. And Lukaku could so easily have made it three. Do you know, Gary, this is absolutely brilliant play. But in quite a few offside decisions at the moment. Bruce has earned this reserve debut. Top scorer in the... Youth League for Chelsea this season with six. Here come Arsenal with Yenaris. Oh, well, one back. And Cabby with a lovely touch to Piazon. There's the reverse ball for Lukaku. And it, and it must be a chance for Lalkovic. Well, it, in fact, uh, it was just gave them a lift for a couple of minutes but in the last five minutes or so there's no real momentum to Arsenal's game but we know with Arsenal they can always be dangerous so we have to be careful great foot in there well Daniel Boateng made a great run forward from the back but he's out of position now Farouz in the middle this is Lukaku and still keeper spills it Farouz will get there but, but uh, I think the flag has beaten him to it yeah I, uh, incredible. well it's almost too close isn't it Someone but then if you've got a small this. man in the way, it's easier to get it up and over. Who's it going to be? Chaloba. He fancies it. Yes. He does. Brilliant goal. Nathaniel Chaloba's done it again. Magnificent free kick. That's a great finish, isn't it? But didn't this go over the top of the smallest guy in the wall? I'd love to see it again, but uh, lovely finish. Take nothing away from Nathaniel. You know, he's bent this, swerved it, dipped it. He's got it into the back of the net from a tight to the penalty area. There we see it. Well, it is up and over the small guy, but I don't think a big guy would have stopped it in saying that. That's almost a perfect free kick. Not so much for it being too close. What do I know? He got that up and down so quickly. The only thing I would say, Gary, if you put two big fellows there, or one at least, they're stripping off, so chance for him to have 15 minutes at the end. Yep. A swan song for Carl Magne looks likely to be his last appearance. But here's Rhys Murphy. Oh, well... What a chance that was. It's a good chance for him, isn't it? Got himself into a great position between full back. Essentially, a very, very good game by Rowan today. For Carl Magnate, looks likely to be his uh, final competitive game in a Chelsea shirt. Looks like a win as well for him. And here's Lukaku just trying to weave a way through. Keeper comes. And that was as much as he could do in the end corner. Piers on thought he, I think he thought he should have played it, but I think he's done the right thing. Trying to go around the goalkeeper, he's trying to go around everybody in the end. He's given the centre back a torrid time. Just that final 
and check back. The ball just running away from this one here. Where he drags it there, just running away from him slightly, and he had to do a little bit more on the ball. Still gets around the goalkeeper. Play, you've got to fizz the ball a little bit quicker now. Lalkovic. And an excellent second half, hasn't he? He'll get to the byline here as well. So many options for Lalkovic. Lukaku! What a chance. What a great chance to get Lalkovic. with by Carl Magnate may well be his first touch since coming on there Kane bombing down the flank here for Chelsea oh, an early ball in which almost came to Lukaku instead it's for Ruse there's a chance he was looking for for Ruse wasn't it again, good play by Todd I just thought reverse and working for Arsenal today you probably say that you know they didn't score at important moments you know and it's goals that change games but I think you'd have to accept that we've been the better side. No doubt about that. Piazon. Back to Piazon again. Shooting chance here. Back on his left. Back on his right. And in. It's 4 0. Hasn't he done well here? This is super footwork. I just thought he had a couple of opportunities. Not too sure about the dancing footwork, but a couple of opportunities to strike for goal. and. I have to give uh, give him a lot of credit here because it was he was tightly marked. Couple of defending, he comes inside. Great little reverse pass by Farouz. He checks back on his left foot. Then he leaves two defenders lying on their backside and still manages to drive the ball into the back of the net. Great footwork and nice quick feet to get the shot away. Adding to his goal in the Youth Cup against Doncaster with a fine solo effort there, and uh, he deserved that celebration. Well, he does. Aki. Up to Lukaku. We are looking at four minutes of stoppage time here. Aki looking to return it to Piazon. Like I said, a 3 0, Gary. Oh, it's been one back here and uh, the shot by Farouz. Yeah, shot, shot from distance. But as I said earlier, I'd love to see them go on and get a couple more. Can we get one more? Make a day of it? Would be something, wouldn't it? Cabby's over the ball. Well, he left it in the ends, and uh, Lukaku is up. And that is that. What a way to end 27 for, for Dermot Drummy and the Chelsea Reserves. Their biggest win of the season. 4-0 away to Arsenal. Romelu Lukaku among the goals once again for Chelsea. Four in four reserve games for him.